Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive, and we've got a totally normal gun for you today. We are looking at Hank Hand Crank Frank Home Support Machine Gun. We've got a hand cranked Gatling gun in H3. It chambered in 4570 government magazine fed hand crank. Excuse me, hand crank on the top. No safety, apparently. Ah, you learn something every day. All right, before I blow everything up, let's just check it out. Let's take a look at the controls. Here is our handle. We're going to grab this with the off hand, my off hand, my left hand in this case. Uh, in fact, I think you pretty much have to operate this right handed because the crank is on the right side. Let's see. Could you do it the other way? Could you operate it with the crank? Like that? Actually, yeah, you kind of could. It's a little awkward, but it might work. Anyway, well, let's grab our magazine, put it in our magwell on the top, like you do. And there is no safety. Down on the trackpad does not eject the magazine. You're going to have to pull that out manually when you need to. And you grab your crank and you start cranking. And it looks like it's firing out of the bottom barrel. It ejects out the side, like so. And grab an empty, put another one in, and you're ready to go. Just keep cranking. So here's a tip, a uh, way to crank faster, rather than grabbing it from by a handle and actually cranking it like a, like a mechanical thing. Just take your controller and get a little closer here and just give a little spin like that. Watch this. That's a little tricky, but if I get it a little closer and just kind of give it like that, works a lot faster. Let's see if any attachments will work. Is there a rail on it anywhere? No. That'd be kind of neat, but it doesn't look like there's any rails. Can we put anything on the barrel? I don't even know which barrel it would go on. Does it go in the middle? <laughs> no, doesn't look like anything is going to go on the barrels. Uh, no suppressors. Let's try the rail adapter just for laughs. No, not surprising. They do move around. How about the battle spatula? Is there a bayonet attachment on it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Doesn't look like there's any bayonet attachment on it that I can find. Uh, stock? Can you put a stock on it? <laughs> nope. Can't put a stock on it. How about... Well, no foregrip attachment area either. Well, no surprises there. Let's take a look at the sights. Um, can you sight down this thing? Kinda? Maybe? Eh... Uh, not... Not... Really? Because it kind of fires it back into your face. How about over here? No. Doesn't really have much in the way of sights. Yeah. Well, we can try a recoil test. Uh... Let's see what we get here. Here we go. You know, honestly, that's not that bad. Once I figured out where we're shooting and I could kind of aim it and I got the controls right, that actually wasn't bad. I mean, it says 6.3, which is wrong because any misses don't count. So it's any just whatever hits the paper. So it's not accurate, but you know what? A lot of those got on the paper. You could figure out how to run this pretty, pretty well. There you have it, Hand Crank Frank. Another one of the weird ones in H3. And a game full of weird ones. Till next time, I will see ya. Ooh, let's see how it throws. Try to whack my monitor. Yeah! Not bad. Not bad.